Hi, it's Tash from Foxes and Brown Bears Tarot. I'm back today to look at my favourite wand cards. As you can see, I've got my beautiful uh, Harry Potter Hermione um, wand here, just to remind you what we're looking at. All right, so my Ace of Wands is from the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. And I just really like that one. I just think it depicts this idea of this new inspiration. Um, you've got the rays of light around it. Just a beautiful, beautiful card. And it's shiny. My Two of Wands is the Two of Fire from the Magical Dogs Tarot. I really like this one because it shows that planning. Which path should I take? What should I do? Um, and it's not that there's one best decision. Uh, both those paths seem to lead to the village potentially. But it's making that plan, okay, and thinking about it. Starting the journey. And I think that's really cool. Another two of wands I really like though is from the Lightseer's Tarot. And this one is kind of that same sort of planning, um, but you're really doing it from the comfort of your own home, looking out the window, you're dreaming about your next trip, about your next journey, and you're researching it. So you've got your travel brochures, you've got your globe, you're thinking, oh, which one would be the best way to go? Um, you might be booking your accommodation. And so it's really setting your plans into motion. For the Three of Wands, I've got two as well. Uh, first one is the Shadowland Tarot. And I really like this one because I think the octopus is really cool. Um, holding the candles up, waiting for the ship to come in. But it gives a real sense of things are just happening. And they're so inspiring. So I don't know, it's just a beautiful card. Um, the other one is from the Revival Art Tarot. And with this one, I just think it's a beautiful piece of artwork. And it's just looking out now. Your journey's begun. Checking, okay, so where am I? Where am I going? Um, I'm on this journey. It's kind of like, I don't know, it just, it's an amazing card. It's a sense of all the prospects out there. Four of Wands, I picked the Everyday Witch Tarot. And I love this one because you've got the four witches and you've got their four cats. Um, and there's such a sense of celebration. I mean, you know, they're firing sparks in the air that kind of look like streamers. You've definitely got balloons in the background. It's like a fair day or something. And it's just such a sense of joy um, and coming together. Five of Wands. I have picked the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. And I like this one because it shows different elements of conflict. So you've got the two dogs fighting over a stick. You've got these two boys potentially play fighting. Maybe, who knows, because this man's rushing at them going, oh no, don't hit that boy. Um, you've got this man struggling with his umbrella um, in the wind. You've got what looks like some sort of sporting contest happening. You've got birds fighting in the air. And so you've got all these conflicts that aren't life-threatening. They're not serious. Um, but they're definitely um, a competition between wills, um, competition of wills. You have um, each person of their own agenda. Um, you've got competing um, demands. So it's really cool. Alright, Six of Wands, I've got two of them. First one's from the Lightseers Tarot. I love this one because it really shows the sense of completion. You've worked hard and now you've achieved your goal and you're receiving critical acclaim. So it's like, look, she's on her stage, she's got her audience, they all there to see her. She has arrived. And it's just such a sense of the spotlights are on me and I have achieved what I wanted to achieve. 
The other one is actually quite similar, but it's from the Ancestral Path Tarot. And this is an Egyptian pharaoh coming in um, on a victory parade of some kind. So maybe had a military victory um, and all these people looking on and celebrating this achievement. And so I think that's just really cool because it's just showing another side um, of what the Six of Wands can depict. Seven of Wands, I've picked one from the Nefertari Tarot. Um, and this one I've picked because I really like the fact that he's defending himself from these crocodiles. And in ancient Egypt, death by crocodile was the worst thing that could happen to you because it would mean that your body could not be embalmed and this would deprive you of an afterlife. And so this is quite a serious defensive action that he's taking. Okay, it's, and I just think it's a really cool depiction of it. Um, I've, I do love Seven of Wands in general, like I use those as a bit of a test for decks because I actually want to see that quite strong defensive element in it. And it's shiny! Eight of Wands, hands down, is the Animal Totem Tarot. This is just speed personified or horsified. <laughs> Um, yes, so you can see the wands flying towards you, you can see the horse charging towards you, you can see the landscape flying off in the distance, and to me it's just such a sense of urgency and movement that cannot be beaten. This is just amazing. The Nine of Wands, I picked the Everyday Witch Tarot. Um, I like this because it just really gives that sense of exhaustion. She's clearly defeated a number of enemies. Uh, she's been wounded, but she's still holding her ground. She's got her back to the tree. She's not letting go of her defensive position. And so I just think that works really, really well. Ten of Wands is the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. And this one to me is a great modern take of what this card means. Because ultimately, she is dealing with the multiple demands that the modern world has of us. Okay, so she's trying to clearly do some work. It's not going very well because she's crunched up some pieces of paper. Um, she has her phone ringing. It's like, ah, leave me alone. I'm trying to get this work done. The time's ticking. It looks like it's 10 p.m. already. She's still at work. Um, she's possibly on her 10th cup of coffee, just trying to get this work done. And, and I think this really shows that burden that the Ten of Wands um, tries to hint at. Uh, another Ten of Wands I had to put in just because it's my, f just I love this card so much. And this is from the Lightseers um, Tarot. And I just love the colours of this. And you've got the sense of burden, but it's, it's I mean, far more peaceful. And in some ways probably doesn't really hold um, that element of burden as much as a lot of Ten of Wands. But I just, I just love the card so much. All right, it's Page of Wands. I've gone with the Fire Puppy from the Magical Dogs Tarot. Mainly because it's a beagle puppy, and seriously, like, what card can compete with a beagle puppy? Um, so it's cute, but it's also that idea of the, he's this energetic little puppy, fiery personality, um, possibly a little bit difficult to train, because he's energetic and he wants to do fun things, so really cool. Um, Knight of Wands, I picked the Lightseer's Tarot. Um, mainly because it just really encapsulates that fire of wands. Um, you have the horse in the background, you have the fire, uh, you have the drumming, you have this real sense of movement and energy, and the colours are just beautiful. Queen of Wands or Staves for the Ancestral Path Tarot. Um, I love this one because she just has that sense of what a Queen of Wands is about. 
this regal energy okay so she's got this it's it's kind of she's got this fire within but she's mastered it and it's just beautiful and the king of wands hands down lightseer's tarot favorite 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 king of wands you got the um, lion energy there but he is just a self-assured um approachable dependable guy who still holds that fire and that energy and he's just the most awesome man ever all right so they are my ones tell me if you agree and I will be back with my favorite cups thank you